Hi, welcome everyone. Today we are going to do a tutorial on nonlinear ARDL model in R Studio. So, this, first of all, before starting, let's let's add some discussion. So, the the names like nonlinear ARDL and symmetric effects ARDL are both same thing. So, in literature, some people use the word asymmetric effects ARDL. Uh, some people use a non-linear ARDL. So the idea behind this uh, non-linear ARDL is that the effect of increasing IV and decreasing IV are not same. So in, in standard OLS models we assume that the marginal effect of variable when it is increasing is equal and opposite to the marginal effect of the variable when it is decreasing. So we assume that they are linear or the effects are symmetric. It's it's same uh, increasing and same decreasing. That's why it's called symmetric. So the nonlinear ARDL word actually it's the model is actually the asymmetric effects ARDL and since uh, the variable is not linear anymore. It has two parts, a decreasing portion and an increasing portion. So people can use nonlinear ARDL. So both things are same. So before starting this, I gave you this idea. So uh, how will you know when to use nonlinear ARDL? It is when you see a logic that that increasing IV and decreasing IV can be different. For example, let's give an example of uh, the recession. So when uh, the recession comes, so fall in GDP leads to uh, unemployment increase because when there's a recession, firms will uh, firms will fire workers. So let's in recession a fall in GDP will increase unemployment but uh, so there is a certain effect of uh, foreign GDP on unemployment but uh, when uh, economy recovers then increase in GDP will not increase employment at same rate as it has decreased when it was in falling state. So what does it mean that when the economy is recovering, the firms will not hire the people at the same rate as they were fall, uh, uh, firing them. So it means that the recession and the boom, the fact of recession and boom on employment or unemployment are not same. So this example is commonly quoted when we discuss uh, nonlinear ARDL model. Similarly, uh, other examples can be that uh, the effect of uh, terrorism has uh, increasing terrorism is different and decreasing terrorism is different because it takes time to create trust when the terrorism is decreasing. So it is not equal and opposite. So for nonlinear ARDL, we need following libraries. First is to read Excel files, then it to read it, uh, data manipulation, then an ARDL model to estimate. Then we use this command df read Excel to read my Excel data file. When I open this data file, I can show you the variables. This data file includes uh, GDP, uh, agriculture value added, industry value added, services value added and infrastructure variables rail road sea and air so it's just a standard data file for pakistan from 1982 to 2016 so i will close it so that you can work on it so first of all uh, following command can be used to transform the variables into log form for that id verse is required because it includes this pipe function and mutate function that are included in id verse then if you want to make time series graphs, you need to declare data set as a time series. For that, we have a df.ts time series data file start year and end year and frequency. So it, when I use this, it will set my data set as a time series. So the year variable will be the benchmark and the data file will work accordingly. Now, if I plot this, so ts plot time series percentage change 
of GDP and percentage change of industry. So if I see this is a percentage change data, so you can see it. We can assume it's growth rate. So here we can see that the both the both lines are here and both are colored on the bottom. So you can see uh, there are times when when GDP and uh, industry are positively correlated, and there are times when they are negatively correlated. So this way you can uh, compare the correlations. So we need to confirm if this correlation is varying. So we can we can uh, make the rolling correlation plot. For that the library is DLAG M and roll so when you run these libraries then there is a model called dlag m colon colon uh, roll, roll, roll core plot x variable is in, uh, industrialization y variable is gdp and we used six lags six observations to calculate the lags we can use uh, five observations a window and then there is some uh, confidence interval and standard deviation so when I run this, you will be able to see after every five observation days. So uh, at the start there was positive correlation, then there was negative correlation, and there is positive correlation and negative correlation. So it means the 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 nature of the correlation changed during the whole time period. It means that uh, there is some asymmetry in the data set. Now we will run the ARDL model. That command is reg is equal to NADL, LGDP, and independent. So, uh, unfortunately, they asked to do a command for uh, non ADL only requires one variable. So, it's a univariate ARDL model. So, data file is DF, uh, independent variable lag is 1, dependent variable lag is 4, information criterion is lag likelihood, maximum lags. We are not using automatic method, we are using manual method. So, it's false. If you use the automatic method, then it will be true. Then, if you want graphs, then true. Then, if you want to do the intercept method, uh, then case three. If you want to add a trend, then you will get go for case four or five. So the, this command is used to estimate nonlinear ARDL model. So reg nonlinear nonlinear ARDL and ARDL LGDP industrialization and data from df lag of uh, dependent is p1 lag of independent is 4 log information criteria is log likelihood maximum lags is not automated the the, the qsm and qsm scale graphs is true it will show the graph then so when i run this command it will show me the qsm squares so it is within the range so it is stable and it's qsm test is also within the range when i do the summary so it's a big table if I go up and then see all the details. So this is the command it has checked till four lags since it is manual. So it has used four lags. But if I use the automated, then it will use uh, the minimum one. So it will do uh, work accordingly. So here GDP has uh, four lags and industrialization has four lags. So then we go towards Mm, the the diagnostics so R square is 0.69 and the Jack Bira test says there is no, no normality but there is no autocorrelation and there is no heteroscedasticity and QSM test says the model is stable the long run coefficients are like this since we wanted to show you the asymmetric effects graph that's why I used uh, more lags uh, rather than automated lags that's why the long run effects are insignificant but after looking at the graphs then we'll go towards the automated and you will see the results become significant so now we need to see the bounce test so this command will give us the f test is 2.14 it is smaller than uh, all of the i1 values so there is no co-integration then we need to do this hetero test so hetero test is already shown but if you want to do it again so this is hetero test and it says no uh, heteroscedasticity now if you want to do the qsm graphs manually so this is the command e c e k h so this is the qsm graph and this is qsm square graph now if you want to do the multiply plot so this is the command and all the things are selected from above so here you can see that there is industrial positive industry is negative so it is saying that when industrialization is increasing so there is a 
uh, uh, blue line and when it is a negative when it is decreasing at that time the uh, when it is low or when it decreasing at that time the effect is also this so it means the effect is not equal and and the, uh, the difference is like this so it means uh, with the increase in lags the effect of increase in industrialization and decrease in industrialization are different so this confirms that there is asymmetric effects and further it is also confirmed if you go in the regression results there is a asymmetry test so this asymmetry test says that it, there is no significant so it gives you a significance so this way you can create a graph but uh, the problem with ARDL model is if there is only one lag used it will not create a dynamic multiplier graph so uh, first I intentionally added more lags just to show this graph but if I go to automated method if I use here true it will only use uh, if I use true and remove these lag criterions and use AIC which is more commonly used so it will only use uh, one lag okay and if you can see that now uh, diagnostics are clear and the long run asymmetric effects is also significant but the problem is if you use only one lag it will not create the plot multiplier graph it needs at least more than one lag so but now in this model the F test is also uh, not significant yet but you can uh, improve it by selecting more different lags or the appropriate variable then if you go the QSOM graphs are already there so the model is stable so what what I wanted to show here is that now the variables are significant so this uh, nonlinear ARDL model will work like this and you can confirm the relationships uh, and, and if you have uh, now if you see this graph let's let's come here so it is giving an error that that the lags must be more than one so that's why it's not plotting but if you in your model these you can see this codes here when you use these codes in your model you will be able to uh, if the lags are more than one you will be able to generate the graph otherwise the only way to confirm is the long run asymmetry test shown here uh, this was a tutorial for nonlinear ideal model hopefully you understood and you are able to uh, recreate these codes in our studio and and make your own estimates and for on your projects or research papers to follow and subscribe the youtube channel thank you very much